medical marijuana has been a topic of significant debate in recent years. Advocates argue that it has numerous therapeutic benefits and can provide relief for patients suffering from a variety of conditions. On the other hand, opponents raise concerns about the potential risks and lack of scientific evidence supporting its efficacy. In this discussion, we will explore both sides of the argument, examining the potential benefits and drawbacks of medical marijuana use. Proponents of medical marijuana argue that it has the potential to alleviate symptoms and improve the quality of life for patients suffering from chronic pain. Chronic pain conditions such as arthritis, fibromyalgia, and multiple sclerosis often have limited treatment options, and traditional medications may have adverse side Medical marijuana offers an alternative solution that has shown promise in reducing pain and inflammation. Furthermore, it may also help manage neuropathic pain, a type of pain caused by nerve damage, which is notoriously difficult to treat. Another area where medical marijuana has gained attention is in the treatment of seizures, particularly in children with epilepsy. Some studies have shown that certain compounds found in marijuana, such as cannabidiol, can reduce the frequency and severity of seizures. This has given hope to families who have exhausted other treatment options and are seeking alternative therapies. However, it is important to note that further research is needed to fully understand the long-term effects and optimal dosing of medical marijuana for seizure disorders. In addition to pain management and seizure disorders, medical marijuana is also believed to offer potential benefits in the field of mental health it is argued that certain cannabinoids found in marijuana can have calming effects and may help alleviate symptoms of anxiety, depression, and post-traumatic stress disorder. Some patients claim that medical marijuana has allowed them to reduce their reliance on conventional medications with unwanted side effects. However, critics argue that more rigorous research is necessary to validate these claims and ensure the safety and efficacy of medical marijuana as a treatment for documents mental health conditions. On the other side of the debate, opponents of medical marijuana express concerns about potential risks and lack of regulation. They argue that the unregulated nature of the medical marijuana industry leaves room for misuse, diversion to the illegal market, and inadequate quality control. There is also concern about the long-term effects of marijuana use, particularly in adolescents and young adults whose brains are still developing. Some studies suggest a correlation between heavy marijuana use and cognitive impairments, such as decreased IQ and memory problems. These risks must be carefully considered before widespread adoption of medical marijuana. Opponents also argue that there is insufficient scientific evidence supporting the efficacy of medical marijuana. While some studies have shown positive results, the overall body of evidence is limited and often conflicting. They emphasize the need for more comprehensive research, including large-scale clinical trials, to determine the true benefits and potential risks of medical marijuana. Without robust scientific evidence, they argue, it is premature to widely endorse its use in medical settings. In conclusion, the debate surrounding medical marijuana is complex, with the valid points on both sides. Advocates highlight its potential benefits in managing chronic pain, reducing seizures, and improving mental well-being. However, opponents express concerns about potential risks and insufficient scientific evidence. It is crucial to continue research and approach the topic with caution, considering the potential benefits while navigating the challenges of proper regulation by safety. By engaging in open and informed discussions, we can better understand the nuances of this issue and work towards finding the best path forward.